We're now going to create another subassembly of our wings. So I'll click on my plus, create an assembly, I'll get a new assembly window or tab. And in this case, we're going to insert, I'll click on insert, uh, our wings. So I'll bring in one wing. And this is a biplane, so I need to bring in another wing. And now we will assemble these as a subassembly. Now I'm going to set up a relationship between the wings by using a fix or fasten mate. And I'm going to fasten with this hole and this hole. Now you notice that snaps them right together but they're actually separated here. So we're going to, for the separation, we're going to create a offset. And in this case, the offset is going to be a Z offset. Um, and it will be, from those two faces, it will be a value of 2.25. And so I've created that space in between. I'll accept this and now that's the relationship between the two wings now we need the wing struts uh, that are going to actually connect these together and I haven't created that part we're going to create that part in context to do that first I need to make a mate connector so I'll click on create a mate connector I'm going to create a mate connector right on the end of top edge of this hole in the top wing and accept that and use this for creating a part studio in context. We'll click on this. I need to have a mate connector to be the origin of my new uh, part studio. So I'm going to use that mate connector I just created, accept it, and now you notice that we are in a new part studio with the information from our wings available. Uh, so I'll create a new sketch. I want to be on this top sketch plane. I'm going to right click and view normal to the sketch plane. And the strut is going to be the same size as that hole. So I'm going to use this existing hole. I'm going to click on that. So it's selected and that actually becomes available and becomes my sketch. So we'll accept that. I'm going to right click, go back to isometric, use an extrude, and choose that hole or that sketch. And I want this to go to the next face. And the fa next face will be the bottom of this bottom wing. So now my strut extends all the way down to the bottom there, so we will accept it. And with this, this done, I can insert this uh, wing strut into the assembly. And here it is. Now again, you know that when we create a part in context, it isn't necessarily made it. So if I grab a hold of it, it still moves around. So we need to fix this. I'm going to use a fasten and uh, mate connector. I'm going to fasten it from the mate connector up here that I already created. And the end of the strut will solve it to put it back together. I will we'll accept this. And here it is. I'm going to turn off the visibility of that mate connector. Now I need to put three more instances in here but because I've already created this part and the part has a mate connector on it I can use my replicate tool when I click on this first thing it wants to know is instances what is it that I want to replicate it will replicate both the part and the mate and this is going to use edges on a face, so I need a face. I'm going to click on this face. Well, that's what I want. I want to go to here. Click on this face. 
and you notice that it finds each of the instances, each of those holes, and it replicates what was in this hole. So the struts have been created and the mate connectors, you'll notice them over here in this list, have been created at the same time. We'll accept that. Um, I can turn the visibility of these mate connectors off. And with that, I've created a subassembly of the wings for my biplane. This can be inserted into our airplane assembly.